This year at Daytona, uh, I'll be pulling double duty, uh, running the Daytona 500 and the Nationwide Series race as well. Uh, you know, the, the Daytona 500 itself uh, is the Super Bowl of NASCAR. You know, you hear a lot of the drivers out there say they would rather win the Daytona 500 than any race that we race at on a weekly basis. You know, obviously there's a lot of iconic names uh, that have, have won that race, but, um, you know, Dale Earnhardt, you know, was who I idolized and who I grew up watching on TV and, um, you know, really loved his attitude and his demeanor and his, you know, get after their tail uh, mentality, you know, when he climbed in behind the wheel of a race car. and. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to emulate his style by any means, but just to be on the race same racetrack where Richard Petty and uh, Cale Yarborough, Junior Johnson, and uh, you know Dale Earnhardt and those guys have raced, it's uh, it's an honor in itself. Not only, uh, you know, driving on the on the speedway uh, is a lot of fun, but it's also fun, I guess, from a, a fan's perspective. You know, Daytona Speedway is probably one of the most fan-friendly racetracks that we race at. Um, their whole infield is, you know, dedicated pretty much to the fans. They have the the fan zone in there in the garage area by the Sprint Cup garage, where the fans can come into the garage. Um, they can shop for souvenirs, you know, snack on food, things of that sort. But they also kind of get a behind the scenes tour of what goes on in the garage area. They have windows that they can peer through to, to watch the crews, you know, work on the cars while the cars are out on the racetrack practicing and, and making adjustments and things of that sort. So, uh, you know, not only from a race car driver's perspective, but the fans also get a treat as well when they come to Daytona.